are getting into coal farm hive number three. This is the feisty one. It's getting a little later in the day now. But I am just coming in to check to see how they're doing with the honey super. To see if they're doing anything with it. Oh no, it's got a lot of nectar in it. Which is good. Look at this next frame. Which is a really good sign because we have nectar that's being capped on both sides. You can see the nectar. So this one's not looking too bad. They're not using all of it yet. So now we're checking the medium to see what they're doing. And that tells you what they're doing. They are capping honey. That's a good looking frame right there. We're gonna swap out the frames with the ones up above, providing they don't have any larva. Ooh, look at all that capped. That is something else. And they're capping this side. Queen cell that hatched. So we do have a queen in here. So that means I'll have to look really good to see if she's below. It means I'll probably end up having to mark another queen. This had a queen cell too on this frame. And it's gone as well. And another one. Yeah, these bees are going to town in this box. Oh, where do you see this next frame? Show it to you before the battery dies. Tell me the flow ain't on. Holy cow. We're gonna do some quick surgery here and we're gonna put this down since the bees are drying it out, we're going to find our queen down below and then I'll put the excluder on. This next box to see if we can find the queen. Ooh, the bees are upset. drying it out but don't have anything here just yet there you go, girls. Let me get that over there all I'm trying to do is find eggs and as soon as I do, I'm going to close this hive up. There's another queen cell that is hatched. So that makes two. So they probably got a relatively new queen in here. May not be mated yet. But I have eggs and cells, so I got a laying queen. Oh yeah, I got a lot of eggs in there, so I'm just gonna close it up. And then they got plenty of room to build. So we're good. The hive that is swarmed is a laying queen. 
get the bees back inside here. So I can get the excluder put back on. Now I'm going to put the boxes back on. I'll double check this one to make sure there's no queen. Isn't that beautiful? Okay everybody, it's April 27th. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. It's probably close to 68, 70 degrees. We've gone through all the hives. We only got two left to do. We got hive number six here at Coal Farms and hive number two. The main thing we got to do is check the honey box, make sure that they got plenty of room to keep storing the nectar. And if they don't, we'll add boxes to it. So let's check out hive number six. The inner cover has quite a few bees in it, so that shows the bees are in the upper box working on the nectar. We have a queen excluder in here, so there should not be a queen in this top box. Well, there's nectar going in it though, quite a bit of nectar. This way you can see some of the nectar, hopefully. Yeah, they're drawing it up good though, for the most part. They have nectar stored on one side and the other, so they're starting to do what they gotta do cover and now we'll check this box I checkerboarded this the last time I was in here Okay, this has got pollen and nectar, so we'll leave that one in there for food form. Yeah, this hive's a little feisty. This frame is all eggs. In all eggs. That means the queen is laying. She's doing her job expanding her hive. And if this one's all nectar, we're going to switch it out, which it is. Okay. And then that way, the honey frames are above the brood chamber. When we put the queen excluder back in, they'll have to go through the empty frames here in order to get up to pack the honey away. We'll put the excluder back over this main honey box and I'm going to get down below and just check this one to make sure everything is going good that they got plenty of room I'm hoping to see some eggs soon because that could be why this hive is so mean maybe they don't have a queen I might have to introduce one if they don't oh look at that 
I no sooner say that, we got lots of brood. <laughs> Yep, larvae different stages. Bees with white and yellow pollen. They're sealing off and capping off the larva. There's eggs, that's what I wanted to see. So now we're just checking for queen cells. Pollen cap brood. A few larvae, not many. Look at that, that's beautiful. Pollen, cap brood. More cap brood and pollen. Yep, that's what we want to see. <coughs> that smoker's getting me. Got a queen cup, but we're going to get rid of that. More brood. That is a hatched queen cell right there. I'm looking to see if there's any eggs. Now there were eggs on another frame. So we got us a hatched queen cell and one that looks like it's soon to hatch. So I'm going to leave it there and that way if there's a queen she'll come over and sting it and get rid of it because I did see Eggs on another frame. Yeah, could be why they're a little feisty. At the uh Okay, Coal Farm Hive 6. Hive 6 here at the Coal Farm Hive. It had two queen cells. One was hatched, one was not. It may have been stung already, but I don't know. There were eggs in there, so we'll wait a week or two, come back and look, and we'll see what's going on with hive number 6. So now we're going to go ahead and jump up into hive number 2 and check it. That's the last hive of the day. So let's go get to it. This is Coal Farm hive number two. Has a queen. We got the honey box on. Doesn't have much activity. Outer box here first. Okay, it's got nectar. You can see that nice shiny nectar. A lot of nectar there. A little bit of drone brood or cat brood. And some more brood. Surrounded by nectar. Now there's a frame of nothing but nectar. Now that's going up in this top box. We'll give a empty frame so that they can work on that one. So they got frames in here that are full of honey. But I'm going to have to go to 
Jeff's farm and get another shallow box because I got a medium here from him but I want to get a shallow so I can move the honey up and keep the brood down below so I'm not going to do anything else in this hive I'm just going to put it back together till I get to Jeff's where I can get it fixed to where it needs to be Could put the medium down below, put that up above, let the brood hatch out, let them work on this. And I think that's what I'll do. Since there's not much done in this box, we're going to take this box off. Gonna give them this box so that they can feel like they got more room, which is a medium 10 frame. Then we'll put the excluder on and we'll let the larva that they got hatch out. There we go. Now we got the honey up above the queen excluder. And the queen should be in the deep box because I didn't see her up here. But we'll come back and we'll check it tomorrow when I get another box from Jeff. So this is Paul from Warden's Farm signing off for the day finally after going through uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 hives right now here at the house. And I still got a brand new swarm up in a swarm trap that I got to deal with yet. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and hit the subscribe button too if you want to know when I put out a new video, when I put out new videos. Hit the little bell it'll tell you when i put out a new video and that way we can all keep learning about bees together all from work far have a blessed day